beautiful, so forgive me if I do so. Our first speaker card is Victoria Redstall. Is Victoria here? Yes. Hi, I'm Victoria Redstall, and I'm here to defend uh, Joe Messina. I think we all know what that's about. Um, I think what you're doing, this gentleman here, is here, this one. Good. Um, he is uh, trying to shoot the messenger. The messenger. This is uh, if this woman, Katie Hill, didn't pose for naked pictures, there would be none. This woman violated campaign finance law. She violated her oath of office, knowing that she behaved in such a bad way, in a appalling way, sexually, in a loose way. Why didn't she pursue a career in stripping and not a career in Congress, representing our district, the 25th district? Joe Messina is a Christian man. I know of him very well. I only met him once. I know his values. He's a Christian and a God-fearing man. And they're trying to attack him because he exposed the truth just like our President Trump, exposing the truth. And that's all he's done. Don't shoot the messenger. Go after the woman that was trying to represent this district in the worst way possible. No parent would want their child to be represented by someone like that. She had no values. Katie Hill has no values. And Joe Messina did the right thing. We needed to know the truth, and the truth was exposed. Thank you, Joe Messina. Thank you. Our next speaker is Sonia Schmidt. Well, I'm going to piggyback on what Victoria just said. I think it's clear to most clear-minded people what's going on here. Uh, and, and to have this being done to Joe Messina by someone who I understand called Alveda King and Aunt Tom, who, who calls Blasting Ford's discredited story something that all women should, should, should stand behind. Well, I'm a woman and I'm a black woman. And I can tell you that you don't represent me in your case, and you certainly don't represent me when you hold up a fist to our flag salute. It does not happen. Not a flag that my black father fought in the war for us to have this freedoms that we're standing here for today. You don't represent me, sir. I also want to say, with all due respect, when you do something like that, you have no credibility. So we can see, I've known Joe Messina for many, many years, and I can clearly say a few adjectives about him. He's good, he's caring, you would want him to be in charge of your children, you want him to be looking over your children, and he's always gonna be that man. So when you guys go out tonight for your celebratory cigars, for something that you think you're gonna accomplish tonight, you're still gonna remain that type of person He's going to remain the type of person he is, which is somebody that we also care about. We know he stands seconds, for please. good. We know that he stands for good. I don't have much more to say, but I think that you can feel my passion for what's going on here and how I feel. It. It's a total sham and a witch hunt. And anybody who doesn't know what's going on, find out what's going on and find out the character and the credibility of the people who are doing this to him. And I thank you for these two minutes. Thank you. Our next speaker is Greg Abrahamian. Um, good evening to, to everybody here. I, I'm coming here today. I've heard some, you know, the really great find that people are here to assemble to talk about things that really are not involving education. In our school district, I have uh, kids that are in this our school district. I have kids that are in, um, you know, they've been here now. They're in high school, and um, people here are going to be speaking today uh, regarding Katie Hill. This topic does not involve our students and our parents. This governing body and this uh, everybody here is strictly here for. The students and the parents, and anything else is a distraction. I would like everybody here to remain focused on the parents and the students. This is what uh, your job is, and this is what we need. 
Now, um, it's come to me that the information is this man, David Barlavi. He's um, on the Saugus Union School District. I live in Saugus. Briefly, my kids went to the Saugus Union School District. This man is a very, he's bringing people here, he's very divisive. Bringing people in here talk, to not talk about issues involving education, he insults families of all kinds of people, showing his fist during our Pledge of Allegiance when we're all honoring our country. 30 seconds, please. He does this in front of parents and students and faculty, and they should tell every single person here what kind of person he is. He's pledged not to do it again, and I just took a photo of him today. And he's doing the fist in front of the pledge, showing everybody that he lies. He's a liar. This board needs to remain focused on what they're here to do and nothing else. Thank you. Our next speaker is David Barlavi. Good evening, board. My name is David Barlavi. I'm here to speak as a private citizen and not in my capacity as an elected official somewhat regarding the schools, the bullying and taunting uh, policies. Uh, I'm also here to speak as a father of a student at Hart, uh, Hart School District as well, um, uh, as a daughter who graduated from Hart School District. I only have one question tonight for school board member Joe Messina. Would you, sir, inform the Sheriff's Department if you received an email about a crime being or about to be committed against a local Democrat? In your capacity as the leader of the local Republican club, would you tell the police if you received an email that a local Democrat was about to be robbed, let's say, or cyber hacked? If you received information about death threats or threats of violence against a local Democrat, would you turn that information over to the authorities? The reason I want Joe Messina to answer this particular question is because he has admitted to receiving illegal revenge porn used to threaten and blackmail Congressman Katie Hill into resigning. But Joe has never spoken to whether he turned this evidence over to the police or FBI. In fact, the only thing Joe did with this evidence of, of a crime was boast about it on social media and contact his national bosses in the Republican Party in Washington, D.C. to see if they received the illegal materials as well. So, Mr. Messina, would you inform the local authorities 30 seconds, please. if you got information about a crime against the local Democrat? Because I would, I, I would report something against anyone. If not, will you at least cooperate with the investigators now so they can determine who the criminals were that sent you the illegal revenge form that was then distributed to the tabloid press and to Republican men in Congress so they can blackmail, bully, and taunt Congresswoman Hill into resigning? We don't want anything like this to happen to any of our children you. in any of our schools. Thank you. Thank you. May I just make a comment? Uh, the meeting tonight is not about attacking individuals, nor about engaging in dialogue or discussion. These are public comments. <coughs> so if you're going to attack an individual or ask for one of the board members to engage in public discussion, you might as well not speak. Mr. Barlavi, thank you for your time. I thought Next week was Roger Dumanian. Were you asking me a question? No, I was not. I was making a general statement. Was it about my statement? Though? No, it was not. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as it wasn't about my statement. Thank, Thank you. you. Roger Dumanian. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> I want to thank you for your time. I just want to share something with you guys real quick. Five years ago, um, when I met Joe Messina, I was a little spe skeptical about meeting him because I had heard a lot of negative things about him in this community. But I did what every American should do. I called him, I asked to meet with him, I sat down, I had a coffee, and I got to know him personally. <clears throat> Over the five years, we've become really good friends. I've had many lunches, many coffees with him, and this is what I'll tell you about him. He cares very much about this community. He cares very much about this state and this country. He cares very much about my kids in the Hart District and the Saugus District, and he cares very much about your kids. If you're really here to bash this man or to uh, use hearsay that you've heard on the internet or on Facebook to ask that he be removed from the board or whatever it may be, I advise you before you do that, 
you sit down with him and get to know him because we have enough division in this country and it's time for us to come back together and start healing instead of dividing each other further. Thank you. Our next speaker is Christian Gadbois. Oh, your friends, nice job. <laughs> Thank you for your time. My name is Chris Gedbois. Um, kind of got sidetracked with this whole Jonah Cena thing. So, Joe, I don't know you very well. Um, I say the people elected him. I'm, I'm not here to talk about that, but if people elected him, he's here. From what I see, he does a good job. He's controversial. I think if you're doing your job well, you're going to be controversial. <coughs> so, I'll leave it at that. SCBI. My kids went to SCBI for a number of years. Um, from Saugus, grew up here. I was here since 1976. Pretty much been all the schools. The other area was here when Tappy Brothers is here. STV has pros and cons. Um, not every traditional school is meant for all the kids. STV has a great program. They have a lot of great parent interaction. I think with the new administrator there, it's been there for the last two years. Really turned the school around. It has really taken shape for discipline and holding people accountable, both students and parents. Um, there were some issues that we had when we were there at school that I think has been addressed by the new administrator. Um, I've been kind of involved looking at stuff at the school districts in the last six months. I think scores are not an indication of a school's performance. I think every school here in this district can improve on their, their test scores. But I think if you've ever been to SCBI and you see the kids that are there and the interactions there and the real true team environment and kids that probably don't have the best self-esteem in a traditional school program, excel there. So as an educator myself, 20 years with college, community college, with fire service and law enforcement, Knowing what it takes to draw a lesson plan, and anytime you draw a lesson plan, the first thing is motivation preparation. Motivate the students, motivate yourself to teach. I've never seen a lack in SCBI. I think the motivation there from the instructors and the students is super high. Um, I think traditional lesson plans are not always the fit for everybody. Um, you know, it's just a good program. I think, could they improve on stuff? Yes, could every school in this district improve on stuff? Yes, they can. But, you know, you have my vote at SCBI. Thank you guys for reading the chart. <laughs> on SCVI, but we will have you speak a little bit later in the program when we have our public hearing for SCVI, so we will we'll make sure you're included later on. Next speaker is Jeannie Atkins. Good evening, everyone. Thank you to board for allowing me to speak. I'm here in support of Joe Messina. I am a resident of New Hall. I've lived here for 34 years in Santa Clarita. My sons, my husband's family, and all our heart graduates, and we're proud to be Art Indians. I want just you to know the kind of man Joe Messina is. He's a wonderful man. He's so giving of his time to not only the community, to his family, to organizations outside of the area. Joe cares about people. These alleged <coughs> facts about him and Katie Hill are just that, alleged facts. We need to find out the truth behind it. I support him. I care about him. Him and his wife, Tammy. And Joe actually is even caring for his mother-in-law, Carrie. I mean, they, uh, the Messina family are wonderful. And Joe is, serves well on the heart board. So I'm here to support Joe Messina, my good friend. Our next speaker is... Mindy McNevin. Hello, board members. Thank you for your time. My name is Mindy, and I am from Santa Clarita. As a family, we chose to move to this area because of the well-known, well-established, and well-liked school districts. The last sentence of the Heart District mission statement is, in all of our work, we demand fairness, honor, quality, and expect achievement at each person's highest level of ability. I'm here today because I truly believe that the students of the Heart District board members should represent this value, and it is clear that Joe Messina does not. Given Mr. Messina's recent allegations, entanglements, and ethical violations, 
I don't feel that it is right that he is on this board. The bottom line for me is that the words revenge porn and school board member should never be intertwined. There's no reason for this. I'm also here today to ask the board to please add this as a future agenda item because there are concerned parents who are worried about who is helping lead our children and the ethical stand behind them. It's enough, it's hard enough to raise our kids in this digital age. We do not need to be represented by those willing to partake in everything we teach our own children not to do. I want to thank the, thank the board for their time and I hope to see an investigation. Our next speaker is Mario Villasenor. Good evening, um, board, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mario Villasenor. I also reside here in the city of San Bernardino. Coming from the San Fernando Valley, it's a great community. Uh, I'm here to defend Joe Messina. Wonderful man, short time that has known Shares the same views. Different views. Everything is being distracted by so many other negative things, but I've never seen anything negative coming out of this man. It's a blessing to have this gentleman on the board and in this great city. I love this city, so I mean, I've been living here for two years. <coughs> and honestly, uh, no weapon. Is against you, Joe. Shall never prosper. God is with you. Thank you. Our next speaker is Patty Sulpizio. Good evening, board members. My name is Patty Sulpizio. I'm a resident of the city of Santa Clarita. In consideration that an elected official of the board, Joe Messina, has allegedly participated in illegal activity, which includes but may not be limited to receiving revenge porn material, a crime which he did not report, which has been covered widely in national news, print, broadcast, and social media, bringing shame and disgrace on our community and this school district in particular, I'm requesting you place this matter on the agenda so that it's properly publicly noticed for discussion and action at your next meeting. Thank you. We have one last speaker, DJ Atkins. Thank you, Mr. President Jensen, board members, esteemed staff members. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you tonight. I've lived in Newhall for the last 30 years. I've lived in the Santa Cruz Valley since 1966. You can do the math. I've been lucky enough to graduate from Pirate High School and was lucky to be elected their student body president in 1970. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, and then was a board member of the Chamber of Commerce, president of the Valley Industrial Association, president of the Newell County Water District. I now serve on the Santa Cruz Water, Santa Cruz Valley Water Agency Board of Directors, but I'm not here tonight representing that agency. I hold in my hand directives from Mr. Barlavi. Number four says, ask for Joe Messina to be investigated for ethics violations related to California's revenge porn criminal statute. Ask for this to be added to a future agenda item. Feel free to ask him to resign. This is the directive Mr. Balabi gave to his followers here today. It has nothing to do with the protection of your students. You guys are doing a great job at Heart District. Keep up the good work. Feel free to say you will support a petition for a costly recall election if he doesn't resign. Do not spend your time on this. This is Brett Kavanaugh all over again. Yes, yes. 30 seconds. I know Mr. Messina. I've known him for more than 20 years. He's one of my best friends. I trust him with my wife. I trust him with my kids. I trust him with my life. He doesn't deserve this. 
He's a good man. That concludes our public comments section. We're going to move on now on the agenda to our communications part of the meeting. Our student board member is not here tonight, so we'll move on to the board member reports. Mr. Sturgeon. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, visit Cass State High School uh, last week and saw the progress being made in both the Performing Arts Center and what, they, what is known as Building 700, which is the CTE programs that we'll be going in. They're actively engaged in getting those two buildings uh, put together. Uh, the Performing Arts Center by, in, and of, in and of itself is uh, an incredible structure and will serve uh, not only Santa Clara Valley, but certainly Cass State uh, community extremely well. Uh, in deference to the public comments that were made tonight, I think uh, my personal opinion as a board member here for 20 years, uh, Joe and I didn't see eye to eye when we first met, but as, uh, as the gentleman Mar as Mario, I can't pronounce your last name, but as Mario said, once you had an opportunity to meet and talk with Joe and learn where his personal and family and community values are, there is no question that he has served this community, this district, and the uh, valley beyond uh, extremely well over the course of his terms. I support him as well. Thank you, Mr. Sturgeon. Mrs. Storley, we're going to go to you next. Okay. I had the opportunity to attend the uh, State of the City luncheon. It was a wonderful event. Um, I enjoyed our COC and Heart District co-meeting that we had at the beautiful Castaic High School. Thank us all. Um, I was happy to attend the luncheon yesterday honoring all of our uh, teachers of the year and staff members of the year. Um, it's always nice to have everyone get together and uh, kind of uh, applaud our own. Um, I would like to remind everybody that Monday isn't just a day off. Monday is Veterans Day and we will celebrate that in the city of Santa Clara at the Veterans Triangle at 11 o'clock, I believe. Um, if you are a veteran, if you know a veteran, uh, I can't imagine that you wouldn't know a veteran, but uh, uh, one more day, as every day, we honor our veterans on the 11th Monday. Thank you. Mr. Messina. I just want to say, uh, I want to thank all those who came out and spoke, whether you spoke for or against me, it doesn't matter. You came out and exercised your First Amendment rights, which is what you should be doing. I also want to applaud the SCVI parents for coming out and supporting, and I know it's a tough thing to do, but supporting something that you really believe in. And I'll just echo that I do love this community, and I do love your kids, and I'm willing to fight for your kids. Dr. Moore. Well, I also want to make sure that we recognize that Monday is Veterans Day as the wife of a vet. It is a good time to remember the sacrifices that they have made for us to have the freedoms that we have in this country. That sometimes we take for granted. Sometimes we don't really understand how our actions might impact others. From the public comment tonight, I will share that for me, everything is personal, and so I had to make personal calls to find out information firsthand, and I believe the information that was shared with me to be true. Um, and I appreciate everyone sharing their thoughts and feelings about what they believe to be true as well. In terms of school business, which is what we're here for, and what I really want us to focus on, I just want to share that we have some amazing schools doing amazing things. I was able to, since our last board meeting, do something that is new for me, which is following Mr. Jensen's um, sports love, and I got to go to the Golden Valley High School in Hart.